Hi children. Good morning to you all. How are you all doing? I hope you are all doing very well. And congratulations to you all. You have successfully completed your third standard. Welcome to the fourth class. I am your new social teacher. Okay. Now, in the previous class, you might have learned or know about something your country. Correct? Now, today, what is your country's name? Yes. Your country's name is what? India. Look at the picture. India. This is our India. India. So, today our topic is India, our beautiful country. So what is the title of the lesson today? India are beautiful country. Now before I start the lesson, I would like to give you some tasks. Tasks means not very big tasks, very small tasks. That means I will ask you some questions, two or three questions. And you have to find out the answers and keep it with you. You write in a book and after the school reopens, you have to show me the answers. Now, are you ready to note down the questions? Students, come on. Note it down. The first question is, who is the Prime Minister of India? What is the first question? Who is the Prime Minister of India? The second question is Where is Taj Mahal located? Where is the Taj Mahal located? Okay? Find out the answers and keep with you. Right? Now, before I enter into the lesson, we will discuss about some question and answers. Okay. Now, what is the national flag of India called? What is the national flag of India called? See our national flag. This national flag of India is called Tiranga. Tiranga. Tiranga means tricolor. Tricolor means three colors. Now how many colors are there in the Indian flag? Three colors. Saffron, white and the green. In the middle, Ashok Chakra with blue color with 24 Spokes. These spokes are called, these lines are called spokes. These will be 24. Okay. Now, the second question is, what is the national anthem of India called? 
What is the national anthem of India called? It is called Jana Gana Mana which we will sing every day in our assembly while going home. Correct? Now, who wrote the national anthem? Who wrote the national anthem? Ravindranath Tagore has written Janagana Mana, our national anthem. Now, now I will tell you some more interesting, beautiful things about our country. Our beautiful country. India. India is a Vast country. Vast means what? Very large. Vast means very large country. It is the seventh largest country in the world. It is the seventh largest country in the world. Children, would you like to know what are the six more largest countries than India? Do you want to know? Let me tell you. The first one is Russia. Spelling, spell the spelling. R U S S I A Russia. Canada. C A N A D A Canada. The third one is America. A M E R I C A America. The fourth one is China. C H I N A China. The fifth one is Brazil. B R A Z I L Brazil. The sixth one is Australia. A U S T R A L I A Australia. The seventh one is India. So this is the seventh largest country in the world. Seventh largest country. These six are much bigger than India. Now, it has one more quality. What is that you know, children? That is, India is the second most populated country in the world. Most populated. Populated means the people. Most populated people in second most populated in the world. Second. Now, would you like to know what is the first most populated country in the world? Yes, it is China. China is the first most populated country in the world. Okay, na? now, what is the length? What is the width of our country? Now, our beautiful country, now it has four directions. North, South, West and the East. Okay. Now,
vertically it extend 3214 kilometers now west to east horizontally horizontally west to east 2000 993 kilometers okay north to south 3214 kilometers and west to east 2993 kilometers now in our india there are 100 32 crore people are living how many crores children more than 132 crore more than 132 crore people are living in our india and they belong to different religions religions some are muslims some are christians some are hindus some are sikhs like that so many religions are there in our india they belong to so many religions and tribes tribes means the people who live in the forest are known as tribals understand so in 132 crore people there are so many religions and so many tribals also and all the all the religions are speaking the same language no they are not speaking the same language see in our state we speak telugu if you go to chennai they speak tamil like that if you go to maharashtra you they speak marathi like that they have they speak different languages okay children do you know that there are 22 languages are officially declared languages by the government officially declared means what these 22 languages are having script that means we can read all these 22 languages and some more languages are there which they do not have any script for example tribal people they speak some languages but they do not have any script they speak but they cannot write that language and okay now they speak different languages and they wear different types of dresses they wear different types of dresses and they eat different types of food in our area we eat every day rice but if you go to the we are living in southern side if you go to north india they eat only roti that means which we they make with wheat that is wheat is the main crop over there and rice we eat every day here like that only in the different areas people eat different types of food also okay now where is our beautiful india located where is this beautiful india located in the world see what is this globe globe is the model of the earth you all know know that the third standard also you have learned 
that this globe is the model of the earth on this globe there are seven continents on the whole globe on the whole world there are seven continents now what is meant by continent continent is a place not a place a huge very very big land form which is surrounded by water on all the four sides right continent is a huge land form which is surrounded by water on all the four sides and what is meant by an island 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 is a small place which is surrounded by water on all the four sides that is why it is called an island because the area is less but a continent means it is very very large land form very big land form okay that is why it is called a continent now india is one of the south of the asian continent okay there are seven continents on the world what are they asia africa asia spelling spell it a s i a asia africa a f a r i c a africa europe e u r o p e europe the fourth one is south america the fifth one is north america the sixth one is australia and the seventh one is antarctica we have seven continents this the whole world this is this globe is divided into these seven continents okay now india is located in the southern part of the asian continent in asian continent india is located see the earth is divided into two parts northern hemisphere and the southern hemisphere half if you make it into half where is this asian continent is located the asian continent is located in the northern hemisphere okay in the northern hemisphere in that continent south side means down asian continent southern side it is located it is the largest continent of this seven continents it is the largest continent of these seven continent and here in the northern part india is the north side it is surrounded by the land the northern part is surrounded by the land land what on this land himalayas plains many are there only in the north side now come to the remaining part on 
the west side it is arabian sea arabian sea south what indian ocean and the eastern side bay of bengal the india is surrounded in the north side with the land and the west side arabian sea and the southern side indian ocean and the east side bay of bengal now once again i will repeat all the lesson see it is india is located in the southern part of the asian continent it is surrounded by land on the north side it is surrounded it is surrounded by here in the west side arabian sea south side side bay of bengal now my dear students that's all for the today's session and we will meet you in the next session your social teacher signing off bye bye